Section 8.2, equations with absolute value. All right, so now you have to remember that absolute value means the distance from zero. So, um, so if we've got the absolute value of x equals a, so let's just put a number in. So the absolute value of x, let's just say is four. So that means that here's zero. That means that the absolute value of x, that means the distance that this number is away from zero is four. So we could go four this way, but we could also go four this way. So it's a distance. So that means that, um, that x is either four or x is negative four, all right? So that's why it could be plus or minus because it's a distance. Uh, I'm starting at zero and my absolute value is four. So I can either go to the right or to the left. All right. So in order to solve these, what you've got to do is you've got to determine, you've got to determine how far away from zero you are um, at the absolute value. So here's the, here's the steps to solve an absolute value equation. Step one is just to isolate the absolute value. So that means wherever the absolute value is in the problem, you've got to get it by itself. Kind of like what we do when we isolate the x to solve for x. You're going to first solve for the whole absolute value. Anything that's within those absolute value symbols, get it over just by itself on one side of the equation. Once you do that, you're going to make two equations. Um, one is going to be equal a positive and one is going to equal a negative. So in this case, this problem has already been isolated. So we already have 2x minus 5, the absolute value of 2x minus 5 equals 9. So that's the first step, but to isolate the, val the absolute value, it's already by itself. Step two is to make two equations. One is positive and one is negative. So this is what I mean by that. So ignore the absolute value symbols and say, I want 2x minus 5, it could equal 9 but that distance could be the opposite direction. So it could be 2x minus 5 could be negative 9. All right, so these are my two possible answers. So that's what I mean by make two equations, one equals positive and one equal to a negative. So whatever you get on your right hand of, side of your equation, you're going to ignore the, uh, take away the absolute values and say, I want this to equal positive of whatever this is, or I want this to equal the negative of whatever this is. Okay, so you're gonna set up two equations. Once you set up those two equations, then you're just going to solve the equations. And by now, you should know how to solve equations. I'm gonna add five to both sides. You can do this as quick as I can or quicker, yes? Two x equals, what is nine plus five? Nine, 10, 14. Divide by two on both sides. X equals seven. Or add five to both sides. 2x equals negative 4, divide by 2, x equals negative 2. So x equals 7 or x equals negative 2. Both of those will make this solution uh, true. And you can plug it in just to be sure. 7 times 2 is 14. 14 minus 5 is 9. Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. Negative 4 minus 5, they're both negative, so you add them. Negative 4 minus 5 is negative 9. The absolute value of negative 9 is 9. All right? Now, when you do that, there are a couple of things that you need to watch for. Uh, in this case, we've isolated the, uh, the absolute value already. The absolute value of 4x plus 1 equals negative 11. So, if the absolute value is, um, is a distance, then you've got to decide, um, can distance be negative? You can't ever un-go somewhere. So the absolute value can never be equal to a negative amount. So in this case, this has no solution. Okay, you can either put the null set or just say no solution. Okay? And that might also take the look something like this. If you've got a problem like this and you need to step one, isolate the, very, uh, the absolute value. So here's your absolute value. You want to get the negative six or the six out of there, so you subtract six from both sides. So now the absolute value of 2x plus 1 equals a negative 2. And if any time the absolute value, once you isolate that absolute value, anytime that equals a negative number, your answer is null set.
there is no solution. There's no way to put anything, any number in here and take the absolute value of it and get a negative number because the absolute value is always positive because it's always a distance. All right. All right. One more. Here we go. Step one, isolate the absolute value. Now we've got some work to do. The absolute value has all this other stuff around it. Eight minus two times the quantity of the absolute value four X minus eight equals negative 16. Now don't get all crazy and say, oh wait, this is a negative, so there's an all set. The absolute value is not, is not isolated yet. So we're not saying the absolute value is a negative 16. We're saying all of this together is negative 16. So let's see if it's going to work. So first thing to do is realize that this eight is added. There's a positive, be careful not to take this, the negative sign from the two and put it on the eight. So you're gonna subtract eight from both sides. And when you do, you're gonna have to add because these are both negative. So negative two times the absolute value of four X minus eight equals 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, negative 24. And so now the only other thing besides this absolute value is the negative two. So to get rid of it, you're going to divide by a negative two. So now the absolute value of four X minus eight is, aha, negative divided by a negative is a positive, 12. So now we have isolated the variable. That's the first step. The second step now is to set up our two equations. So either 4x minus 8 equals 12 or 4x minus 8 equals a negative 12. And now solve it. You solve them real quick. I'm going to make sure that you can see that I haven't gone too far down. Okay, did you solve it already? Are you quick? Add eight to both sides. 4x equals 18 and 20 divided by four. X equals five. Add eight to both sides. Four X equals eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, negative four. Divide by four or X equals negative one. There's your two solutions, five or negative one and you're done quick, easy lesson. So make sure, make sure that you isolate that absolute value, get it by itself, and then don't forget to set up two equations. One equal to the positive of your constant and one equal to the negative of your constant. And then just solve it. You can do this. See you soon. Bye.